Morning, Georgie. You look cheerful as usual. Okay. I don't know who it was, but uh, because I couldn't see. But good morning. It was hey, okay. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, um, good, great day to have a great day. Let's go. Yeah. You're gonna have a big role against Wisconsin with all of their very mobile three-point shooting big men. Would you talk about that? What was the exact question? Wisconsin uh, has big guys that can shoot from deep. And so, you know, that, that was a problem against Ohio State. Uh, the Illini are going to need you on the perimeter defense and your dancing feet. Would you talk about that? Oh, I mean, that's, uh, I, I don't know. We'll see if they, if they come out and whatever, whatever it will be. We will, we will guard them. We play defense, uh, take away threes. We always try to force tough twos, so. Uh, yeah, we're ready. I am ready. The team is ready. Everybody's ready. We are all in. We are locked in. Let's go. All right. Well, that sounds good. I guess I have no further questions. Georgie, your energy is just something that's really special. I mean, just sitting down here and sitting and saying, it's a great day to have a great day. You're doing all these different things. You're in a great mood. How do you do that? Like, do you ever just like wake up on the wrong side of the bed and not be in a good mood, or is this you on a daily basis? Um, I won't lie to you. I do have bad days, uh, just like I think everybody does. There is not a perfect, you know, human who always got a great mood. But I always, when I wake up, uh, I have like a, a whiteboard in the room, and I have some written in Georgian that I would not tell you guys what it is, and it always makes me smile when I wake up. And I wake up, I read it, I smile, and then I'm like, hey. Let's try to have a great day with a smile, you know, put, and then I walk outside and I put a smile on people's faces and it's just great, you know, great energy. Because why wouldn't you be smiling or be happy? Obviously we have some issues and problems um, that come up in our lives and then, you know, we are not as happy or not smiling, but um, if everything is going well and people are healthy, uh, why not to smile? Why not to have good energy? Why not? Just ask yourself that, you know? And then quick follow-up, you talked about putting the smile on other people's faces when you're walking down the street to oven or class or wherever you're going. How, how happy does it make you to see other people smile because of you? Very happy, even happier, even happier. I was just walking down, when was it? Yesterday before practice and I was just walking down. It was empty road, empty road. And I was not smiling, I was just walking down. And I saw this guy, one guy, he was cutting the grass in front of the football uh, facility. Uh, not cutting the grass, but the uh, cleaning the snow. Cutting the grass is not right now, that's later. Um, uh, he was cleaning the snow. He was cleaning the snow, and he, as soon as he saw me, he had a big smile on his face, and then I just smiled right back at him, and it was just a great moment, a very little, little moment throughout the day, but it was so big for me. I smiled, and I instantly had um, great, great energy, and then, like, those little things really matter, I think, I think you know. Thanks a lot, George. I appreciate it. Hey, Georgie, good to see you. Um, obviously, the Indiana game, uh, there was a lot of fouls. It was a, a physical game. But uh, I'd like to ask you about uh, your work on the defensive end um, and what, what kind of work you've been putting in. Because uh, on the Iowa game especially, you know, it looked like you were really able to give Garza some problems defensively. Uh, just staying dialed in and really listen to the coaches because coaches always – prepare us uh, with a different plan on defense. Obviously, uh, each team is um, somewhat different, and they, um, they try, our coaches try to teach us techniques, uh, how to defend uh, certain players or the team in general, and uh, we practice it. We practice it, we get prepared, and not just me, you know, it's the whole team. We all get in there, we have different drills, many, many different drills that prepare us for the game defensively, especially because we always have great focus on defense event because you win with defense, uh, as we all know. And um, it's just preparation, preparation, you know, coaches helping us, talking to us. 
the whole time. Also, players helping each other. You know, Kofi might tell me something here. Hey, G, you missed it here. Step up here higher. Do this or me or Jermaine or whoever it is. You know, players helping each other. And uh, it's all uh, collective effort from everybody, you know. Absolutely. And then I wanted to ask you about Jacob Grandison um, and how he's really come into this team and really established a role. It's kind of hard to get to know guys this year with COVID and everything. So what has he meant for this team and what is he like as a person? Oh, we love him. He's a great, great guy. Everybody loves him uh, on the whole, on the entire team. We all love him. He's a great, great guy. High character guy, first of all. Um, we really connected with him off the court. Uh, really well, everybody. And when when you connect it with the guys off the court, uh, Jake uh, is one. Of, we are all connected, obviously. That's really easy to play on the court. Jake is a real, really fun guy. You know, cracks jokes. Obviously, he's very smart guy. Me and him, we always have conversations about um, many, many different things uh, outside of basketball. You know, he he loves nature too, and uh, you know, he's just very, very smart. You can talk to him about various uh, topics and I always talk to him, have fun with him, crack jokes, have serious conversations. Uh, just a high character, great guy. Thanks, Georgie. Hey, good afternoon, Georgie. We've seen you and Kofi have played pretty well together at the same time on the court, seeing it a little more now. What, what do you think is working with, with that combination and why are you guys having you know some of the success you are? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> honestly, I'm just out there. Um, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I'm just out there, you know, playing my, I always, when I'm on the court or whatever, I always try to do my best, do my best. You know, that's always give all out effort. Our coach um, is always talking about the thrill of all out effort. Will you get that thrill when, when there's an all out effort from you, you get that thrill, that feeling. And, uh, that's always what I'm I am personally trying to focus on. And then things just happen. For example, think like playing with Kofi alongside with him and it worked out, you know. Um, that all my focus is just to give all out effort. That's all it is. And then um, sometimes it works. As you said, we play well together on the court and it, sometimes it might not work. You know, I don't know. But as long as I know personally that I'm giving it all out, uh, I'm happy. And uh, that's basically all you can do, you know, as a player, as a person. I think coach maybe talked about, you know, sometimes there's a smaller lineup out there. And then when you put the two big guys together, the defense, you know, maybe takes a little bit to adjust to what you guys are able to do. Do you, do you notice anything like that? No, uh, not really. No. No. All right, Georgie. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Georgie. Um, we talked with, coach earlier in the week he said that it was nice to maybe kind of get back into a normal rhythm where you guys played Iowa last Friday then play Tuesday Indiana play again tomorrow how has that been different than that 10-day gap where you didn't have any games uh that is very different actually you know as a um as you're in the season now especially it's my third season you know um you kind of get that flow into a season how things go and uh, all of a sudden, you have a 10-day break, which are you, you're you not used to. Obviously, freshmen are is their first season. But for veteran players like me, we are kind of used to just having, you know, day off, a couple of practices a game, day off, a couple of practices a game. And that gap uh, was definitely something new. But I think we handled it really well. You know, we had uh, very, very good practices, stayed in a great, great shape, you know. Um, clean the uh, clean things up on our side, work on ourselves. Not that you know you're always preparing for somebody. For example, now we prepare in Wisconsin or we was preparing for Iowa or Penn State. Um, during the break, during that break, we just worked on ourselves, you know, watched a lot of film on us, um, and cleaned up little details. And um, I think that worked in our favor. Has there been any difficulty or challenges just with this season where your practice schedule? you know, has changed, you know, kind of, or could change, you know, just on a daily basis almost? Um, I think uh, since summer already, um, not only me, but I think everybody, all the players and the coaches have kind of a day-to-day -day approach to everything, uh, just because how things have been, you know, even practices and uh, it's not really okay. We're going to have a schedule for a whole week. We have a schedule for today. 
and we're going to execute that schedule. And then there's a schedule for tomorrow because every day could bring something, you know, all of a sudden guys could t- get test positive, knock on wood that we didn't have, but um, something popped up on my computer, not my computer, DB's computer. I have to click this away. I can't see you guys. But, uh, DB, I'm sorry. That we can still hear you fine, Juge. Keep talking. I'll come in there and fix it. There you go. I just click later, but um, I forgot the question. So that's great, and um, we just gonna come out and play hard. <laughs> you that's can ask me that question again. I forgot it because it it, it was all gone on my screen. So uh, just the maybe just the challenges of having to go day to day instead of not having kind of a set set schedule. Well, after some time, you just get used to it, I think. You know, personally, I got used to it really well now, just day to day, day to day, okay? Today, we have practice already. We got it out. We have film later, dinner. That's all we have. Um, That's it. Tomorrow, obviously, we have a game day schedule. But then after that, you don't really know what could happen. You know, everything could flip and change in a matter of a day. So it just um, that kind of adjustment. I think um, that's not only us. I think that's everybody like that right now, not even – uh, just in basketball, just in general, you know, it's more of a day-to-day life now. I feel like maybe not, but that's my opinion. Okay, thanks, Georgie. Thank you, Georgie. Looking back at these last few wins, uh, very different game against Iowa, for example, versus the kite nip game it was at Indiana. Do you take any more pride in a certain kind of game and a win? I would argue that the uh, Indiana game, you had a lot more adversity with the flow of the game and the fouls and all that. Um, that's very unique. It's very unique, as you mentioned. I mean, each game is very different. Um, but, um, I mean, some games you might – you it's natural just to be a little more happier because it might have been a tougher game. But at the end of the day, you are always happy to get the win and uh, because – we are in the best conference, you know, it's Big Ten. You can lose any game. There is not a team that's coming in and you know, okay, we're going to win this game. No, like, you have to be prepared for every game. Um, every game could could go either way, it's every single game in Big Ten. So, um, obviously, you could be a little more happier because of the game went a little bit harder this one time, and you are maybe – a little more happier because it could be a blowout and you kind of more relaxed stage and still happy. But um, in Big Ten, every single game could go either way. So uh, when you come come up with a win, you are always very, very happy. Wisconsin typically tries to slow a game down. Uh, is it harder to increase against a slower team or is it harder for a team that wants to slow down a fast team, if that makes sense? I don't think that makes sense. (laughs) Is it harder to speed up a slow team or is it harder for a slow team to to slow down a fast team is my question. (laughs) Um, I think it's, um, it's very situation based, like not situation, but like the game based, how the game go, for example, refs could be calling a bunch of fouls one game and could, it could work in a favor of a team that likes to play slow. You know, uh, for a team that likes to play fast like us, we don't want any fouls. You know, we don't want any fouls. We just want to have one shot, no offensive rebounds from the opposing team. Just one shot and get on a run. That's all we want to do, get on a run. And um, sometimes, you know, it could work in our favor that, you know, refs might not call some fouls here and there and um, give us a little more freedom. Um, it just very, very uh, one game specifically like it could be Wisconsin they want to play slow but it could happen that we're just playing fast we're just playing fast and it just happens you know there's so many aspects there's the referees how um how guys show up and then 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 so I couldn't really tell um what's the advantage disadvantage here you know if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense but makes sense to me (laughs) thanks Derek is here okay Hey, Derek. Hey, Georgie. Um, after you and, and Io fouled out, you're sitting next to each other on that padded table on the baseline. I know that's not where you guys would have wanted to be, but what was that like sitting there and going through those tense moments of that game and seeing your team be able to come out with a win? No, uh, I mean, it sucks. <laughs> you definitely want to be in a game. I mean, uh, we know Io. 
Uh, he loves those clutch moments, especially those, you know, when it goes uh, point to point and he comes out and it's a great shot. He loves those moments. Obviously, I want to be in the game as well. But uh, we knew we had five fouls. We had to sit there and we were just, you know, encourage guys. Uh, also, uh, trying to call, okay, we we were like, okay, he going to make these two or he not. And we was, we was just still talking, being really engaged uh, and and um, just have fun still, you know, still. And uh, have a good energy for our guys and not just, you know, oh, my God, we fouled out and now we dwell on the bench and, you know, we just go into ourselves. But just be there still encouraging guys, um, having a good attitude, and uh, we came out with a win. Have you noticed an emotional boost since that game? You had quite a few reasons why you could have lost it, but just to be able to come out with the win and here in practice here recently? Um, definitely. Definitely, because it was very close. And I think the team um, and all the players there were very happy that we won it with our defense. You know, when overtime started and we took two charges, um, there was an unbelievable energy from the whole entire team just because of those two plays. And I think when those two plays happened, our team really knew, OK, we're going to win this game. You know, when, uh, first of all, Jake took a charge there and then Ace took a charge, a uh, big, big charge there. Once the they took those two charges, we're like, okay, we win in this game. There's no question about it. So the team was really, really happy. Still is, and we are in a great, great uh, connected flow. Everybody's connected. We all in. So um, we are just excited to play, man. And one more for you. What's a bus ride like after that game? What are you doing on the bus? Bus ride. I mean, uh, first 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I always notice this. It's very loud. Uh, a lot of joking. A lot of rah 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 on the bus and uh, after 10, 15 minutes, everybody is like this on the bus. So they just, they just lean back. Some guys are snoring. Some guys have their mouth open. Some guys are laying down on the floor. And um, it's, uh, it's not, a, not, a, not a good sight, I would say. So if you're trying to get through anywhere, you're not going through anywhere. So it's, when you take your place, you might as well stay there. So. <laughs> Appreciate it, Georgie. Sir. All right. Hi, Georgie. Hey, uh, I was curious. It's not really a question about um, that pertains to tomorrow's game, but just overall with travel this season is a lot different um, than other years, just logistically and maybe how you feel. I'm just curious, you know, what the most challenging part of traveling has been this year besides teammates snoring on the bus, I guess. <laughs> Uh, challenging part is just, you know, uh, you know that this COVID thing is happening and especially we know that it spreads through, you know, traveling and going to different places. So just being very, very careful, very careful, always to make sure uh, not only you have a mask on, but also having, uh, having your teammates accountable. Okay, if, if you see somebody, they don't have a mask on or uh, they don't use hand sanitizer or something, always tell them, hey, put, them, put your mask on either in the hotel or on the bus or whatever it might, wherever it might be. Um, just uh, having that focus at all times that um, not only you are not trying to catch COVID, but none of your teammates or uh, our whole whole crew um, just staying COVID free because we are not, we, you know, we are playing for something very big and we are not trying to catch 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 COVID and sit out now for well, how long it might be. Yeah, and I mean, it seems like when teams go on the road, that's when a lot of team bonding takes place, whether it's, you know, going out to eat together or just guys getting together late night it, and you're not doing that this year. What, how do you kind of try to um, overcome that or find ways to get around that? Um, I mean, um, that is right that teams, you know, bond when they go on the road. But what has happened this year is uh, I was talking about yesterday in an interview uh, because um, because everything is shut down right now and we are not really seeing anybody else and socializing with somebody else, we are together all the time. So when we are done here in practice today, for example, guys probably going to go together, play some video games against each other or play some card games against each other. So all this bonding is taking place now here um, when, you know, if there was no COVID, people would go out and socialize with different students and whatever. Now it's just us. Um, the whole time. So we don't really need traveling right now to be really bonded and stuff like that. We just bond here uh, where we live, you know. 
And what do you take with you on the, your coach mentioned, take guys, take video game consoles. You just mentioned cards. I don't know if there's a certain card game you guys play, but what are some things you do to occupy your time in hotel rooms? Um, I'll sleep, honestly. Uh. <laughs> I'll go to sleep. Uh, I'm not a big, you know, video game guy, but um, almost all the guys on the team, they usually take one or two um, PlayStation consoles or Xbox or whatever it is and play different games up there. There's the basketball games and, war games and stuff like that they compete against each other they play with each other stuff like that um i don't play any video games i can't play or i can't watch it but it hurts my head but um also card games um they play some blackjack or um poker you know um stuff like that and also just you know just be together we might watch a game together you know there's some nba games going on or something and just uh be really together nobody really wants to be alone just be together spend great time with each other so yeah okay. Thank you. All right. That'll wrap us up with Georgie. Georgie, thanks for your time. That completes the call. Thank you. You guys have a great day. Thank you, Georgie. Appreciate it. Georgie.